morning guys morning 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 i hope you guys are having an amazing amazing morning today we are talking about books that have lauren in an absolute chokehold right now it is ridiculous what i'm talking about is the patricia briggs books now i've been reading the mercy thompson series for some time, if you've seen my, like, book reviews for the month, you'll see I'm about, I think I'm up to book seven in the Mercy Thompson series. But, but, I recently, like, this weekend, I feel like I'm talking with my hands a lot. So, I recently, like, this weekend, started the sub-series, I guess you would call it, for this book. It's called Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. Stop. Why is it so good? I literally read the prequel in like the first book, which is I think On the Prowl. And then the first book is called Cry Wolf. In like a day. In like 24 hours, I read them both. And then I'm already starting Hunting Grounds tonight, which is book two. It's so good. It's everything that I love about the Mercy Thompson series, okay? So, like, the werewolves, vampires, all of that. But there's this character. She's an Omega or a submissive wolf, but she has, like, special powers. She's not just, like, a submissive. Like, she, she calms the pack. She heals the pack. I don't know. I'm sure I'm going to know more as I get into it, but it's good. Her name is Anna, and she's my favorite character in this world like I love Anna and Charles is the Merrick's son and he's like the enforcer like he gets sent out to like yeah kill all the the bad guys that he doesn't like to kill and it's so good and Anna brings him like peace yo why is it so good why why is it so good it's ridiculous is what it is so there's six books in this like I guess Alpha and Omega series portion of the Patricia books Patricia Briggs world um and I'm starting book two tonight like I swear I'm gonna start it tonight and probably be up half the night like I was last night reading um Cry Wolf they're just that good. I They bring everything, like I said, that I like from the Mercy Thompson with characters that I like just a tiny bit better. I guess I relate to Anna more than I relate to Mercy. Now, someone who is maybe more of a tomboy or maybe more outgoing and loud may relate to Mercy a little bit more than me. But Anna's a little quieter, a little more reserved. Anna done seen some shit. I feel like I relate more to Anna than I do Mercy. So, like, it was the second that they introduced Anna in the little short story that prequels this book, the first book. I was like, I texted my friend Kay, who is the Crochet Fairy. If you're not following her, go follow her. She's on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. She's on all of them. TikTok, the Crochet Fairy. So, I texted her immediately, and I was like, why is this so good? And she was like, I know, because it's so good. It has me in a literal chokehold this whole weekend. Like, last weekend, I was pushing through a lot of stuff. Um, obviously, I'm still, like, super obsessed with the Brandon Sanderson stuff and the Mistborn stuff I've been reading. I am... We'll say almost halfway through the third Mistborn book, Hero of Ages. But typically my paperbacks stay on my desk and I read them while I'm at my desk. And then like my library books and things like that, they're on my Kindle and on my phone so they can just go wherever with me. So if I'm laying in bed, I'm scrolling through a book instead of say scrolling through TikTok or Facebook. I try to scroll through a book, a real book. Um been helping a lot this year last year I got 
the last two years before this, I got like super confuddled in social media. And I think we talked about that. Um, that's why I've read 106, 107 something books this year so far, because I've just been distracting my mind in different ways. And whether it's healthy or whether it's a coping mechanism, who knows? But we're doing it. Okay, so like I was saying, you guys, it's got me in a chokehold. I'm sorry for being so, I guess, enthusiastic on this video, but it's so good. It's really that good. It is uh, Patricia Briggs Alpha and Omega series. I'm in love with it. I cannot get enough of it. And like I said, I'm still reading other stuff. I'm going to have a heavy reading month this month because yeah I, I've already like at six or seven books for the month and it's only like the ninth or tenth so oops oh well it'll be fun I think I'm probably gonna break like 15 books this month if I'm if I know me and especially now that I've started the series and it's as good as it is I'm probably gonna binge these six books plus I'm gonna finish Hero of Ages, plus what I've already read this month, plus I've got like the new Stephanie Plum novel came out. I'll read that in a day or two, but I bought it and it's on my Kindle waiting on me to get a spare moment where I can give it my full attention. I know better than to try to read that book right now when I'm so invested in this Patricia Briggs world. Because I'll be too distracted and I'll have a hard time getting into it. We don't want that. So I'm going to just probably binge this Patricia Briggs Alpha and Omega series whilst finishing Hero of Ages, then reading Secret History. And then we'll finally, it might be next month, I hope not, but then we will finally read um, the new Stephanie Plum because I love, love some Stephanie Plum, but... It's just, I know better. I'm, I'm too invested in other worlds right now. I'm too invested in the Sanderson world and in the Patricia Briggs world to even try to pick up Janet Ivanovich's world, too. It's just too many worlds, man. Too many worlds. Can't do it. So, this has been where I've been at with my reading right now. Nothing but this... Um, freaking Patricia Briggs world all weekend. Last weekend was super Sanderson filled. It just seems to be the theme of the weekend is whatever author I'm currently reading, I am in a hundred percent right now. It's just, that's just what it is. But I love you guys so much. If you are into sci-fi and werewolves and things like that, check out Patricia Briggs. There's two series. Mercy Thompson and Alpha and Omega, both are actually excellent. I've been reading the Mercy Thompsons like crazy myself, too. If you're into high fantasy and you're looking for good high fantasy, Brandon Sanderson, like you've heard that name before if you're into high fantasy. Uh, I'm reading the Mistborn stuff. I'm currently on about halfway through book three. Very, very good stuff. That's what I'm reading. What are you guys reading? Comment down below. Let me know what you're reading because I'm super excited to find out.